Hi, everybody. Today is Monday, June 1st. Um, it, it is 11.03 a.m. and you are on the scrap a dab -a -doo Crafts channel and I'm Ella. Today we're going to be using the Doodlebug, uh, Doodlebugs The Graduate Kit, which can be purchased at scrap -a -dab -a -doo .com. and we're going to be making graduation, birthday, and anniversary cards. We're not, this is a sample of some of the cards that, um, that uh, I made with the kit. These are not the cards we're going to be making today, but these are just to show you some of the cards that you can make. Um, these are the cutouts from one of the sheets with the little enamel stars, the washi tape, the gold trim ribbon, and this is the new um, Tim Holtz celebrate script words that they have available at scrapadabadoo.com. So we're going to be using those today. And then, um, so that's how I made that. And then this is one that says happy birthday. And this punch is the Martha Stewart Cherish Punch. This punch right here. And um, I punched it, I punched the bottom of the base card and then I punched another piece of this and uh, the black. I put two rolls of the gold ribbon uh, trim using um, Beacon Fabri-Tac because it does have fabric on the back. Thank you, Margaret Ann. I do too. The ribbon does have fabric on the back. It's not self-adhesive. And so I used the Fabri-Tac uh, to adhere it to all of the cards. And the washi tape, um, I burnished it really good, but when I was handling it this morning, I noticed it came up some. So I might go ahead and put some um, something back there, but I burnished it and burnished the heck out of it. Um, this punch right here to make these little stars is a new find. It is um, the Fisker's Thick heavy duty punch. So you know how we're all looking for a punch. Here's the size of the star that it punches. So you know how we're always looking for a punch that um, can hold up to our abuse, right? <laughs> and this one, it says it will go through aluminum cans, cork, multiple layers of cardstock, foam, milk jug, cereal boxes, and more. So I haven't tested all those things yet, but I have used it quite a bit this weekend. Um, it has a slide lock. So, you know, when you're not using it, you can lock it. And then to unlock it, you just hold it down and slide it. It's very easy to use. And for me, with my crazy, you know, finger that doesn't bend, you know, this one, these are much better for me to use than the thumb ones. I, you know, this is, this is a little one, so this isn't a problem, but the bigger ones do cause me problems. So this one, I can just put my palm on it and press down and voila, we're in business. So there is some housekeeping things we want to go over today. There's some new weekly specials at the store for scrapadabadoo.com. So go over there and check those out. Um, as always, they're limited in supply. So once they're gone, according to the, um, web page they're gone bye bye so that's one thing and then there's quite a bit of new product in the store since last monday so you want to check that out and then next week um i'm supposed to be on my channel which is create with ella on june 8th however i am going out of town with my girlfriends for four days to the cabin I can hardly wait for Monday to get here. <laughs> so there will be no show on my channel. Sorry, Sandra. Didn't realize I had it on. There will be no show on my channel um, next Monday. <clears throat> so just, um, I know you guys will miss me something terrible. I'll miss you too, but I need a break. <laughs> and the cabin, I wish I could take you all up there. You're welcome. So it'll be four, we're leaving on Monday, and we come back on Thursday, and it's just ah, heaven. 
no cell phones because you're so high up in the mountain. So there is a landline in case, you know, a bear comes out and attacks us or something, which is highly unlikely. It's not that remote. We have beautiful blue jays and squirrels and dove, not doves, quail and little bunny rabbits. Oh, peaceful, peaceful, peaceful. So let's get the show on the road because we got a lot going on. Okay, so the first card we're going to make today is a pop-up card. Now, this was the sample that I showed you. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get a drink of water. So this was the sh sample. This was the sample. See, I need a break. I can't even talk. This was the sample that I showed you on the scrap -a -a -doo blog post over the weekend. And this is the larger one, to, but we're going to make the smaller one today. And Carol and Janie have the link for that. And I'm going to hold the link up for those that, thank you, Heavenly Ma'am, thank you, that are watching the recording. Here's the link for the card we're getting ready to make. <clears throat> so if you're watching the recording, this is the link. Okay, I know I love these cards. They are so fun to make. So this is how the card looks when it's standing up. Then when you fold it to put it in the box, in the envelope and they open it, it looks like this. Okay, it'll look like that. Or you could have it look like that. However, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> However, whichever way you prefer to fold it. Uh-oh, I lost one of my little guys. Okay, so then you can also fold it like this. But I wouldn't recommend, I mean like this, yeah. You can also fold it like this. Thank you, Janny. So it just, you know, it just however you, but however you would like to fold it. I think you should fold it like this, only because when it goes through the mail, you know, these things could get messed up. And so, unfortunately, one of my little guys came off, so let me put him back on. So, you're supposed to use um, cardstock to get these little guys to stand up. But I found the cardstock um, didn't hold them as stiffly as I wanted it to. And so, maybe if you doubled it up or something like that. Hi, Wendy. It would. And, but I used acetate. Now, acetate is not included in the kit, and I, I realize that. <clears throat> Hi, Wendy, my buddy. Um, so I realized that acetate wasn't included in the kit, but I knew that the majority of you had acetate. So I took that liberty to use the acetate because I thought that the cardstock was a little bit too flimsy. So let's get started on our first card. All righty. So because black doesn't show up real good on camera, I made a template out of yellow to show you. And here, when you download the um, when you download the cutting guide, you're going to get. Thank you, Margaret Ann. You're going, it's going to look just like this, card in a box template, okay? And it's, it is super uber easy to follow, trust me. It, it's very, it's one of the easiest ones I've ever followed. So what you do is you take a six, um, six inches by nine inch piece of cardstock. Then you're going to score it at two and an eighth, four and a fourth, and six and three eighths, and eight and a half and all this is on the tutorial okay then you're going to turn it this way and you're going to score it at two and three-fourths all right then you're going to cut up to this line right here the score line of two and three-fourths and you're going to cut one two one two three four cuts okay but on this one here, you're going to angle it a little bit and cut this piece off. All right. And then you fold everything. Now, everything folds up really nicely. You put tape here and it goes in like so. 
okay? So we're going to make the smaller version today. And then off the piece you cut off, this piece here, you're going to cut two three and one eighth by one and an eighth strips. And you're going to score both ends at a half an inch. And then you fold those, and that's what's going to hold your little guys up. So like I say, all that's in the tutorial, and it's uber, uber easy to follow. <clears throat> So I've already pre-cut everything, and I pre-cut everything for you guys um, because I want to try and get as many cards made as possible. I don't want to rush through anything, nothing like that. But <clears throat> I want if I sit here and cut everything and score everything, it takes a lot longer than if I prep everything ahead of time. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You got it right, ma'am. You got it, babe. Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you is when you get your paper, you're going to get some of this beautiful, your kit, you're going to get some of this beautiful gold glitter chevron paper. And it is it is pretty. But I'm going to tell you, do what Carol said and take it and spray it with hairspray. Don't saturate it, but you know, zzz, like that. <laughs> Because if you don't, you will have glitter everywhere. I mean, you can see how it came in off here before I sprayed it and it's on the paper. But once I sprayed it, it was fine. So, you know, listen and do, do that. So I've already pre-cut everything. So this will go here. <clears throat> Excuse me. This will go here. And th now this is the outside of the card, okay? We're not on the inside yet. And let me make sure I'm getting everything lined up right. And I already see that I have, no, this is for the inside. Okay. All right, so I didn't cut one thing, which is no problem. I know what goes there. So we're going to go ahead and adhere these down, these right here. And I'm going to use score tape for this. Uh, actually, I'm going to use Miracle Tape because it, um, I have it. It's easy to use, and it will really hold things down really good. Yeah, make note, get hairspray for paper. <laughs> oh, I know I rarely use hairspray because, you know, my hair is so thick. But when I do use it, my husband's like, oh, my God, you're going to give me a headache. I'm like, oh, please. You know, come on. I don't use that much hairspray. I mean, back in the day, we no wonder we have a hole in the ozone layer. <laughs> yes, and the cheaper the, the thank you, Heavenly Ma'am. The cheaper the hairspray, the better. Yeah, so go to the 99 cent store or the El Cheapo store, wherever you, it is in your neighborhood, and get the uh, cheaper one. But don't saturate it. You know, just give it two, two of like that. And then when it dries, and it won't take long, um, you can test it out. And see, you know, if it rubs off. So I hope everyone had a good weekend. I know Wendy did because she got a new storage piece to store all her craft yummies in. So she posted that for us to see. She said she got it all in there. Now she just has to organize it a little better. So hello to everyone that's coming in that I might have missed today. Earlier, rather. I know Bunny's here. Janny's here. Margaret Ann's here. Wendy's here. Let me see who else is here. Um, Sandra's here, Leah's here, hi Leah, Scrap and Share, oh we got a lot today, MG's mom, Miss Linda, well the thing about uh, raining in Texas, Carol, is the bad thing is about when it does rain here, 
This is no joke. This is the God's honest truth. When it rains here, one of two things happen. We have mudslides because the land is so dry, it cannot absorb the water. So, you know, especially down in the Malibu area where houses are built on the seaside and the mountainside and other places too, they literally go sliding down the mountain. <laughs> but we have a lot of mudslides. You might have read about Pacific Coast Highway was closed for over a month last time we had a lot of rain because um, muds, the rocks came down in the mud and everything. And then the other thing that happens, especially down in uh, near L.A. in the city, is because we don't get a lot of rain here, they're not diligent about cleaning out the rain gutters on the street, the rain drains, the water drains on the street. So here comes Mother Nature and gives us our much-needed rain. But the drains are filled with trash, garbage, God knows, a dead body or two in all seriousness. Who knows what's in there? And the water can't drain, so the streets flood. And I don't mean a little bit of flooding. I mean businesses flood, everything. It's really bad. So up here where I live in the Oxnard Plain, in the agricultural area, we don't have that. We keep our drains clean. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's it's crazy. We need the rain so bad, but we're not prepared for it when it comes. And you'd think we'd learn a lesson, but sometimes, you know, they don't. So what can you say? Okay, so we got those done. Let's brush this down. <clears throat> and Heavenly Ma'am, she's got it raining over there so bad with gale winds. I believe, I believe Margaret Ann's in Scotland. Is that right, Ma Margaret Ann? Because I get you guys confused some <clears throat> sometimes. Oh, Carol says she has snacks in the corner, just in case her and Bunny and whomever else may end up over there. We never know. We never know who may end up in the corner. So now we're going to take the backing off here. Yes, I thought you were in Scotland. Thanks. So I'm eyeballing this. It's my favorite thing to do. Sometimes I, you have to have a ruler and you have to do that. But for this, I'm just going to eyeball it. If y'all hear the little doggy next door barking, that means someone's walking down the street and he doesn't like it. So, so he lets out a low growl to say, hey, I got my eye on you. You know, Margaret Ann, I grew up on an island. If you look at a map of the United States on the eastern coastline, if you go down to South Carolina, there's quite a bit of islands down there. There's Kiowa Island, which is where the rich, rich people live, that I used to run and play on as a kid, and it was free to go down there. It was just, you know, public property, but not anymore. So anyway, there's Kiowa, there's Seabrook, Wadmalaw, John's Island, James Island. Well, I grew up on John's Island, and it was very civilized. <laughs> but I was kind of spunky when I went to college, to say the least, like I'm not now. But anyway, I was taking the Greyhound bus home to co from college one day, one weekend. 
and they were some people on the bus and they were like, hey, where are you going? You know how you do. Hey, I'm, you know, where y'all headed, yada, yada, yada. And I said, um, they asked me where I lived. And I said, um, I live on John's Island. They're like, John's Island, where's that? I was like, well, you know, it's it's a subdivision of Charleston. It's um, This one's a little crooked, so I'm going to take it up. I said, it's right, you know, it's not far from downtown Charleston, blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, gosh, you live on an island? Do you have running water? And I said, no, we don't have running water, and we don't have electricity. We have outdoor toilets and everything. <laughs> and they believed me. Oh my gosh, the look on their face was kind of funny. Then I had to say, no, I'm just teasing you guys. We have electricity, running water, and everything. Hi, Shabbing. But I guess they thought, you know, if you live on an island. Oh, well, what can you say, right? So I'm just taking this backing up here with my tweezers. Okay, so we got that done. So I need to cut these pieces up here. I thought I had cut those and I don't see them in my bag here. So let me see. Okay. These are for the inside. Nope, that's too. We have paper left, so we will be okay. But I really thought I had cut them out. Hmm. Okay. So those need to be cut. One and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So one and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Now we need a long piece for the inside, so let me see. See if this is going to work for the inside before I cut any further. Okay. I'm just checking something here, guys. One and seven. So we're going to, excuse me, we're going to use that. Okay, so one and seven eighths by, I think I said two and seven eighths. One eighths by two and seven eighths. And we need um, three of those. Two and seven eighths. One, two, three. We need four of those. Okay. Nope, it's not two and seven eighths. Hmm. Maybe my eyeballs aren't working yet today.
Hold on, guys. Two by two by two by two, two by two. No, don't write that down. <laughs> it's a uh, two by two by two and seven eighths. Okay. Now we're cooking. Okay, so two, we cut that one a little bit too short. Okay, so let me get some more paper here. when you know you did something and you go back and you can't find it. Well, rats to hooties. Okay, so let me see if I can use these pieces. No. No. Nope. We gotta have those for the inside. Okay. So we we'll just have a little change of plan. We'll just use these because this is gonna be underneath. See, this is gonna be under here. So you really don't see that when the card's standing up. Okay, so let's cut this. And I lost my little piece of paper. Okay, two. Cut this two. Two. Okay. And then two and seven eighths. Oops, sorry. I'm getting discombobulated here. Okay, so what's that? One, two, three, five, eight. Okay. All right, we're back in business. I figured it out because I failed to write down the measurement. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're doing good. <laughs> yes, I am recording. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, young, young lady. <laughs> yeah, I got it this time. I wasn't reading the chat. I'm sorry. Um, we are making graduation, birthday, anniversary cards using the Doodlebug, the graduate kit. See, now I lost my train of thought.
I really can chew gum and walk at the same time. Okay, so for all the cards, I used pumice stone to distress, and I just put a light dusting on them. I didn't do anything really heavy. Thank you guys for putting for the moderators today, Janny, Carol, Heavenly Ma'am, for putting in the links and answering questions. Okay. So now that Ella knows what she's doing here, because I got discombobulated. Okay. So on this one, it's just regular cardstock and doesn't have a different finish on it. I'm going to use my um, tape runner. Oh, still a little bit too. I have to tell you guys, these Tim Holtz sheer scissors, I love these things. And I'm going to tell you why. When you use a regular pair of scissors, I don't have mine over here, and you go to cut, you have to cut, then move the scissors up, cut, move the scissors up, right? With this, look, you can put the you can put the paper in and just make one cut. I like that. It's less room for to mess up. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you get a cleaner cut. Yeah. So at first I wasn't sure, you know, that I was going to like them, but I, I love them. I think he designed these for quilt makers because, you know, they took a lot of his designs and put into fabric, which is way cool. And my girlfriend gave me these for Christmas and um, I didn't use them for a long time, but this weekend I used the heck out of them and I love them. Sometimes when you, you know, use the shortest scissor, you get that jagged edge. Um, you know what, MetWife, I don't remember how much they were. I don't know because they were gifted to me at Christmas. But I'm going to tell you what, they are worth their weight in gold. They are worth their weight in gold. Because look, if I use these scissors right here, these little cuddle bugs, and I want to cut, I can't cut the full length, right? So I have to move up. Well, sometimes when you move up, you get a jagged cut. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, they are perfect for quilting. But with these, you just put your paper in and you don't have to move up. See? You get you get one quick clean cut. They're 20 bucks. Okay. But I'm going to tell you what, I would rather spend 20 bucks on a good tool that's going to last me for a very long time than to buy an El Cheapo pair of whatever, you know, whatever tool it is. And then, you know, I use the heck out of it. And within a year or two, I'm having to replace it. I, I use my tools a lot. Um, most of us do. A lot of us do. So why not take the money and invest the money and get something that's going to last you a long time? As much as we use scissors, okay, I cut that one a little short, but that's okay. All right, so that's what's going to go there. Now we're going to work on the inside. Now, on the inside, you want one long piece to be on the side where the tab is at. Okay, because when you open your, when you open the card, see you're going to see that back there. So this is one, you you know, one continuous piece. And again, all that's explained in the um, in the um, tutorial. Okay, so we're going to ink these up with the pumice stone.
Yeah, they are really great. Now, remember, once you use your scissors on paper, don't use them on fabric or ribbon because it'll tear up your fabric and your ribbon. And once you use your, once don't use your good fabric scissors slash ribbon scissors on paper. That'll ruin them. It, it dulls them. So always have a pair of fabric and always have a pair of paper or ribbon. You know, have a pair for fabric and ribbon and have a pair for paper. Okay. So we're going to put this piece here. And again, I'm just eyeballing that. And I'm using my adhesive runner because this is just cardstock to cardstock. There's no fancy backing on this paper. So you want to line it, you want to line these up. The top is what you want to line up. If you're not good at eyeballing, you can use a ruler. Boy, I, maybe I need, maybe I need the ruler. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay. Maybe if I turn it this way, I'll do better. If my head's in the way, I apologize. There you go. That's better. Okay, so now we got that down pretty good, except this one's a little crooked. My eyeballs must have been crooked when I put that one down. Okay, I like that. Okay, so one thing I did want to do, yeah, right here. Oh, no, I did it right. Okay. Hold on a minute, guys. Okay, so see, now our box is starting to take shape. That's the outside. And then when it folds down, It's going to be like that, okay? Alrighty. So, what we can do is we can go ahead and adhere this down. And for this, I am going to use um, score tape, miracle tape. I, I say the words interchangeably, they're two different products. So I don't want to confuse anyone. Let's see. But if I say score tape and I'm using this, it's not score tape. This is miracle tape. I just, I used score tape for so long. I'm not used to saying miracle tape. But I do love, I like the miracle tape better. Because I it's cheaper for one thing and as much as we use this is 3 8 inch that I just used so let's score that so let's burnish that really good Okay, so that's the outside, right? So now we're going to work on these. So this is the front where it has the long, you know, continuous piece, right? OK. 
Okay, so now we're going to put our little strips in. And these will hold our pretties up. I mean, this is what we will attach to hold the pretties up. Sandra leaving? Oh, okay. Talk to you later, Sandra. What's Matt's wife wanting mailed to her? She must be ordering something. What you ordering, Matt's wife? Oh, she's getting something from the store. Ooh. They have all kind of goodies over there. I love those script words. These right here, I love those. I'm going to be using those a lot. And they also have the stencil words. And those are fun, too. We're going to do some projects with those as well. Okay. So let's burnish that down really good. So what happens is these little pieces here go in inside. And I know it's black on black and you can't see really well, but maybe you can see here. See here they are right here. And there's two of them. And that's what's going to hold your pretties, right? So what you need to do is you fold the ends, take off the uh, backing on the tape. I do it one at a time. And then you want to line it up. You want to line it up with the top of the um, box like this. You want to hold your box square. You want to drop it down and line. Oops, I put that one too close. Darn it. Okay, here you go. Okay. And there's no bottom on the box, which makes it kind of handy. Because then you can just reach in there to burnish it. I'll show you guys in just a moment. Let me get it. Let me get it um, down. Okay. Can you see that in there? It's right here. Let me see if I can turn it around. See it right here? Let me stick my hand up there. Okay, see it right here? Alright, so the top of this needs to line up with the top of that. Okay? So Wendy is sitting on her hands, behaving, mumbling, no more is buying, Wendy, no more buying. <laughs> but Wendy, Margaret Ann says you have still have room in those drawers to fill up. <clears throat> Yes, these cards are a lot of fun. You can use them for every every occasion. I mean, you can go on Pinterest and you will see some of the cutest cards. And some people really just load them up. I mean, it's just it's so fun to see all the different ways people uh, use them. I mean, all the different ways you know that people put things in inside of them. Okay, so now we have are two pieces in there. Can you see? Let me show you from the bottom. See, this is the bottom. Okay? So what I want to do first is these are stickers that came on the sticker sheet. Okay? 
And what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, now I'm going to pop them up on these three flaps. And this I'm going to put right at the front. So it's you can write in there class of. This is one of the card pad. This is for the smaller one. Um, the moderators have the link. This one is the Stampin' with Jen card. Yes, this is the size that the pattern makes. Mm -hmm. All the dimensions are given in the template. It's a six by nine piece of paper. Bye, Matt Wife. We'll see you later. So I'm going to pop these up. Um, and I'm going to use my little tool to take away the sticky on the back. And then I'm going to put my foam. Well, first I'm going to put my foam tape on. I found this to be easier yesterday. You're welcome. Very nice. Yeah, this is the smaller card, and this is the larger card. 